Lucas Media. So we got some news coming out of the boxing world. And that's that the PBC allegedly is in really bad shape. And that this Tank Davis slash Frank Martin fight is possibly their last fight on Amazon. Now, PBC has been around for a while. I remember when everybody was advisor, was Al Hayman was everybody advisor under HBO Golden Boy, and then they all got snatched up and moved over to Showtime. They was on Showtime for several, many years, many years, had some of the biggest fights over there, and now they have moved over to Amazon. Now, that move was strange because Showtime, it was like, especially around last year, it was like they just stopped cutting, they just stopped promoting fights, and people was doing mega fights from their iPhones promoting them there was no press conferences you could tell that they were definitely the budget was gone so then we heard that Amazon would pick them up and they end up moving to Amazon but there's really no dates like that we've been us fans we was waiting and it's all the way really until June when you about to start to see some action and that's what Tank Davis and Frank Martin and then David Benavidez fighting on the undercard as well my bad I forget his opponent off the top of my head but now we're hearing, like I said, rumors coming out that this may be Amazon's, their last fight on Amazon. And I also heard that Amazon's not actually putting no bread up like how Showtime did. Showtime would give, you know, Al Heyman, we'll just say hypothetically, 80, 90 million to put on fights. And now there's rumors coming out that Amazon is really making the PBC get everything out, out the mud to where they're not paying them. It's, got, it's strictly off of pay-per-view sales and you know at the gate and i'll say this before if this is if this is their last fight on amazon i really don't care i'm a boxing fan and i could care less if it's on amazon if it's on the zone if it's on true tv if that still exists that they could hell they could host the fights on nickelodeon for all i care as long as the fights are available, I'm going to watch them. I am not a loyal uh, fan. Like how some like, oh, I'm, I'm the zone. I ain't Showtime. Or some people was like, oh, I'm Showtime. I ain't the zone. Y'all remember when they had that war several years ago? Yeah, no. Mm -mm. I'm, I'm here for us. I'm a fan. And I don't care where they It don't matter to me what, what network they own. It's not like I'm getting paid, you know, when they sign deals. So, you know, y'all shouldn't matter either. But it is... But the one thing I don't like is that the PBC, they don't have a huge card lined up. Remember previously, PBC, they would have dates lined up all the way through the end of the year. I'm not seeing it. Unless y'all seeing it, please let me know. But I'm not seeing it. And, you know, I, again, I keep saying this. I want to see these fighters fight. Tank Davis needs to be fighting more than, more than once a year. What the hell happened to Keith Thurman? Um, Earl Spence doesn't fight that often no more. Leo Santa Cruz, Gary Russell, the Charlos have gotten old. The name is Demetrius An uh, An Andre is still with them now. So it's like, what's going on? Is all the money dried up? Well, that's fine. Well, you need to let people out their contracts. But again, we don't know what's going on. But it would be nice if somebody from the PBC, Sam Watson or Floyd Mayweather, Somebody need to go what's going on. And then you got four fighting exhibition fights. Is he fighting to keep the money that he's generating from pay-per-view to PBC afloat? Is he fighting because he needs the money? Or is he just fighting because he's bored and he got that itch that can't be scratched? I don't know. But, you know, we don't know what's going on with the PBC. But hopefully, hopefully it's not true. Or if it is true, they got some more stuff lined up. I also heard a possible rumor that it could be Netflix. Netflix wants to get into live action. I know, I believe they're getting the NBA games next year, a couple of games. And I know they were floating out the idea of getting the NFL. And they struck a deal with the WWE. Mike Tyson versus Jake Paul's coming up. So, you could see Netflix try to get into the game. And then even then, I mean, here's another thing that the PBC is messing up with. You want me to pay $75 plus to watch Keith Thurman fight Tim Tazu. The Charlos fight some bums. Tank Davis fight somebody that we know he's going to more likely beat. The fans are over it. And then now with all these hacking fire sticks, nobody's going to be playing games with these people no more. Why do you think that 
the the uh, Turkey Al Sheik and everybody over there in Saudi Arabia, they coming up with the fights that people are willing to pay for. And yes, they're getting hacked to a degree, but you got a, a bunch of loyal, still diehard boxing fans that will support that. Is you know, I get it. Boxing is a business, and it's more of a business than an actual fight. But the fans, we were screwed over for so many years, and this isn't the first one. If y'all remember right, they dragged out the Mike Tyson Holyfield thing. Remember, he was supposed to fight, then he got hurt, and Mike Tyson went to jail, and then he got out, and it still didn't happen for a while, and then all the other games in between, and they finally got the fight. But see, back in the day, you were forced to deal with that. Now you don't have to. And when you don't like what these fighters are doing, you can affect their bottom line, which is stream the fights. That's what this what you're seeing people do. I know plenty of people that don't be paying for fights. And you know, these boxers, they were so spoiled with how the old model is, but times have changed. The world changes every so many years, and now you know we like the drama that comes with boxing. Let's keep it real. But we're not willing to pay for the matchups that we're seeing. Unless it's the people that we want to see. If you get Shakur versus um, Tank Davis, people are going to pay for it. Tank Davis versus Devin Haney, people are going to pay for it. People are going to pay for that. Crawford versus Canelo Alvarez, people are going to pay for those type of fights. I remember Keith Thurman telling us a couple years ago, it was a guy arguing with him. When he was playing games, when he was WBC, WBA champion, he basically told a fan, you don't know what you're talking about. But what y'all don't understand is we the ones that pay y'all bills. So I don't know. I mean, it could be many reasons. But again, there's a, it's just a rumor. I'm just reporting it. But I just want to get my quick thoughts about all of this. Tell me what y'all think.